Welcome to Parenting Roundabout Speed Rounds Turkey Day Replay, where we're bringing you a second helping of some holiday favorites to get you through this stressful week. Today's episode is from November 4th, 2016. Food our kids won't eat. My goodness, that is the story of my life. This is <laughs> this why is... I hate grocery shopping. I hate cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I just... My kids don't eat anything that is green. <laughs> <laughs> Orange. Show, to be fair, <laughs> that's true. Yes, apple, I tried. The even red apple doesn't I'm far not, fall from the tree. <laughs> I know, but I tried. Even though I'm not a big veggie eater, I've tried. <laughs> I've even like, you know, I mean, there was a point I was so desperate to get vegetables into my son, I grated carrots into his pancakes. Oh and my! Syrup. <laughs> <laughs> syrup actually, makes everything better. It does, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. So. But now that he's older, I do have to say he's his taste buds have improved tremendously because he just spent a month in Japan and ate Ooh. all kinds of stuff that I could never wow. do even visualizing. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, it's a laundry <laughs> list of items. Terry, how about you? Do you have? Yeah, well, my son will eat pretty much anything, but he uh, he will not eat chocolate, which more chocolate for me. So there's no problem mm-hmm. there. And he also doesn't no. doesn't drink milk. Will not drink milk. Eat oh, and he doesn't. Mm. He just interjected that he doesn't eat peanut butter either. So, oh gosh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So all the Reese's peanut butter cups are mine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Washed down with a nice <laughs> with a nice milk. cold glass of milk. <laughs> uh, he'll eat yogurt. He'll eat ice cream. He'll eat cottage cheese. He just won't drink milk. So we give him some calcium tablets to supplement but um, my daughter on the other hand is quite a bit more picky Um, she has trouble with foods that have no definitive texture Um, Mm -hmm. like you know really 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 cooked squash that's just Mm -hmm. kind of a mangle of fibers on your Mm -hmm. plate she has trouble swallowing that and will complain about it and you know anything that looks kind of weird or that is excessively vegetably i mean we've made her eat whatever we're having and so she's gotten better at it and uh, i tell ad nauseum the story of when i went to my friend's house and there were brussels sprouts and i had always refused Uh to eat brussels sprouts but i couldn't refuse them at the friend's house and i had to eat them so it's good to get used to them in advance um (laughs) this is why we serve you unpalatable food children just so one day (laughs) when you're on a job interview and they're having sushi (laughs) you will be able to eat Oh my gosh, can you imagine? <laughs> if you went on a job interview and there was sushi. Uh, I had a job <laughs> once. I worked for a Japanese ad agency and they often had sushi at their events. Not their job interviews, but I mm. actually found uh. the least disgusting ones to eat. California rolls are <laughs> yeah. bad. But, Catherine, are you a sushi eater? I'm actually not. I, my kids and I, I would say, um, <laughs> we like the veggie sushi. Yeah. You know, where it's just where it's just like avocados and carrots and stuff like that. Um, we like hold that. The we fish. Don't... Yeah, hold the fish. My <laughs> my son and I won't my daughter and I won't eat shellfish, um, including shrimp. But my Ooh. son and my husband will both eat it. So if they're having a guy's night, they'll usually have even if shellfish. it's like breaded and deep fried to such a degree that all you can taste no. is the breading and the oil. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the cocktail sauce. And oh the cocktail God. sauce. It could be anything in there, really, by that nope. point. <laughs> Can't. It could, mm-hmm. it could be a vegetable. Who would know? Yeah. No, my, and, and other than that, than those couple things, my kids are pretty good. My, my son used to be a big broccoli eater, and Ooh. he now kind Ooh. of pushes it away. He's not that. But he huh. eats a lot of fruits and vegetables. He's pretty good about that, um, which is why it's ironic that he is not the most regular child. <laughs> like, I shouldn't be telling tales about TMI. that. TMI. But... <laughs> yeah, and and my daughter is like she'll eat most things, but like yogurt, it has to be a very specific like brand style oh, yeah. flavor, and I can't yeah. ever keep track of it, so I just don't get it. Like, sorry. <laughs> You can buy it next time you go to the store, but I don't know what you <laughs> Too complicated. You eat, but I buy you. <laughs> That's where we're definitely in a you'll eat what we buy you house, but it does not always yes. 
always no. work. And I'm I'm the peacekeeper of it's no longer PC to tell kids you have to eat everything. You know, mm. if they don't like it, they shouldn't have to eat it. It's, you know, eating disorders. This is how it starts. Right. You make them eat everything. Um, but yeah. he's like, you know, it's not going to kill you. Eat it. So. <laughs> I am interceding well, on the behalf of the squash hater quite often. <laughs> well, I'm a very, very picky eater myself, so I have a lot of compassion for picky <laughs> eaters out there. So, <laughs> That was today's Turkey Day replay. Come back Thursday for another serving of leftovers and tomorrow for an all-new round two.